Johnny's Bedtime Stories. Hello again. Welcome to the next episode of Uncle Johnny's Bedtime Stories. Today's episode is called The Spit Slinging Showdown. So today's episode is set in the backyard of the farm. So to set the scene of what's going on there, uh, I'm on the swing, letting it rip. Uncle Simon's on the trampoline, having a bounce. And the trampoline is sort of like, it's like within spitting distance of the swing set. I'm not sure how the spit war began. Uh, I'm assuming it probably just started with one of us just having a spit, as you do. And, uh, you know, trying to see how far the spit could go. Basically, what was going on was Simon was bouncing on the trampoline and then, you know, spitting right at the top of his jump to see how far that would go. And I was, like, swinging on the swing and, like, just releasing the spit just as I got to the edge of my swing. And Anyway, at some point, this game devolved into both of us boys trying to hit each other with our spit. I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of a cool game. So, like, Simon's advantage is that he's got the whole trampoline, it's a big rectangular one, and so he's got a bit of maneuverability, like he can bounce to the left, bounce to the right, backwards, forwards, so he's got a bit of dodging capability. And my advantage, being on the swing, is that I've got a bit more momentum, so I could really launch the loogie, like it was just swing and just let it go. So yeah, just to be clear, my spit was definitely going further. Ha! Take that, Simon. So we're sitting there trying to spit on each other, which obviously is not recommended. Do not try this at home, kids. And uh, if this was a sporting competition, the score was definitely 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, the game was headed for a draw. Out of nowhere, I've just produced, like, the perfect loogie. As soon as it left my lips, I knew, like, I'd hit the jackpot. Like, the angle, the speed, the trajectory. I had just, like, managed to deliver the equivalent of a ballistic missile. Just like... Time literally seemed to slow down as I saw the spit leave my lips and just fly up and then down towards the target. Now I watched as Uncle Simon looked up in horror and he could tell as well that he was in big trouble. As the blob of saliva started descending, he just starts backing up and backing up like he can see it's coming and he's like just backing up away from the... Uh, the death bomb. So I wonder if you can guess what's going to happen next. Uncle Simon just kept backing up until basically he stepped into thin air. And our trampoline, you know, it's an olden days trampoline. None of the safety gear like they've got these days with the little pad thing around the spring or, you know, the nets even around them. Like, none of that. So he's in trouble. So poor Uncle Simon's like fallen got tangled up in the springs of the trampoline and he's immediately begun hollering, crying out, he's been injured. Now, unlike previous episodes of Uncle Johnny's Bedtime Stories, in today's episode, Granny and Grandpa were definitely home and I was absolutely aware of the fact that my parents were inside the house within hollering distance. I had a very limited amount of time here to make this right or I was in big trouble. If one of your brothers or sisters starts crying the way Uncle Simon was squawking, you've really got five to 10 seconds maximum to make it right before you're in trouble. So your options are basically, number one, apologize. <laughs> what? That never works. Option two, you can try hitting yourself. Sometimes that'll work. They'll be so distracted by it that phew, they stop crying. Ow. Option three is like somehow make them laugh. 
whether it's by telling a joke, usually humiliating yourself in some way might work. Eat a handful of dirt, whatever it takes to like snap them out of it. Hey, hey, how much money will you give me if I eat this teddy bear? <laughs> Option four, let them hit you. If they're not literally curled up in a ball, maybe if you just give them the option of getting you back immediately, that'll stop the tears. You can hit me wherever you want. Anywhere. Option five, bribery. Just offer them anything. Anything that will stop them crying for long enough that you can get out of trouble. Bro, this is like my favorite tea bear. You can keep it for the rest of the day. The key is they've got to be smiling or at the very minimum, not crying and hollering before the parents enter the room. Well, I was off of that swing in a flash. I had five options ahead of me, but I was too late. Grandpa stormed out demanding to know what had happened to Uncle Simon. And do you know what Uncle Simon said to Grandpa? He spat on me. <sighs> uh. Yeah, well, I got punished. But it was kind of worth it, because I got this cool story out of it. Anyway, see you next time. Uncle Johnny's Bedtime Stories